Okay, the danger level here is no joke. Buenos dias, champs, and welcome to the Perito Moreno Glacier. We are back for today's episode. We're calling it Brent versus the Glacier. We're actually gonna go mini trekking on top of the glacier. This has been a total bucket list dream of mine for many, many years, and today it's finally coming to fruition. What makes this glacier so special is that it's one of the biggest glaciers in the world. And while so many glaciers around the world are melting right now, this one exists in a state of equilibrium. Every amount of water that it loses, mass that it loses, uh, it also gains it back during the year. Scientists, geologists can't explain why it happens, uh, but I think that's just a really, really fascinating. Instead, I'm gonna head to the cafe, ch -ch -ch, sip on a little cafe cold leche, get the caffeine running through our system. It's a lot warmer today than it was a few days ago too. Almost like a 15 degree temperature difference. The sun is shining. As you've seen in the last video, it was super, super cloudy. So very excited to have a crystal clear view of the glacier today. Lindsay's gonna get a little bit of coffee here for us. I think we're gonna chow down on a little dulce de leche dessert to get the blood sugar pumped up. And then in just a few moments, it's time to trek that glacier, you dig? Okay, coffee has been crushed. We're about to board the boat that's gonna take us to the base of the glacier. And then we're gonna put on the crampons and then the trekking can begin. <laughs> While we wait to board the boat, we might as well talk about the price for this tour. Uh, in Argentinian pesos, it was 25,500, which per the blue dollar rate, was just over $100 for each of us. Uh, so to walk on a glacier, that seems like an incredible value to us. Uh, however, if you pay in US dollars or use your credit card, it's gonna cost you like $225 to do this excursion. Before we go hike the glacier, they're giving us about a half hour to get a little lunch break in. So we're gonna chow down. What do we got today? What do we got today? Stunningly disappointing. <laughs> I would have ordered something different had I known it would have been chicken salad. But uh, it's food and it's fuel before the glacier. So, wow. Have been told that we can drink some of the glacier water here. So finally brought my water bottle with, can now wait to fill it up with some of that ice cold super pure water. Just maybe 10 minutes left until the hike begins. So we're climbing up to a viewpoint here. Oh, check this out, check this out, check this out. Ah! Finally walking on our way to go get our crampons on. I guess we're also gonna get helmets in case one of us slips and cracks open our noggin. We wanna make sure that we're protected. On the way to the glacier, the terrain is a mix of like sand, a little pebbles, and then some larger rocks. One size fits all. These things probably haven't been washed since the glacier was created. <laughs> put it on. Can you put mine on for me? Now it's time to put the crampons on. Getting laced up with some Jordan Air One crampons, baby. So excited to make it on the ice, walking on the gravel. Not, not, not that pleasant. Uh, definitely feels a lot better walking on the ice than it did on the gravel. Thought I was definitely about to eat walking on the gravel. Definitely felt like I was gonna fall like three different times. Uh, we're all packed so close together that if one person went down, it would've been a domino effect. Now, I understand why we have the helmets. So, there's two different tours you can do if you wanna hike the Perito Moreno Glacier. The first is the one we're doing. And pretty low intensity, medium intensity, all things considered. The other is a tour called Big Ice. That one was like double the price. That was near like the $250 range. That was on some like mega physicality uh, exercise. I think that involved like four hours of hiking on the glacier, another like multiple hour hike through the sub-Antarctic forest. But yeah, Big Ice actually has some age limit. If you're over 50, you're not allowed to do it. I think it's between the ages of like 18 and 50. Uh, so definitely one of the things that you want to do when you're young. All right, Lindsay's gonna fill up her water bottle with some of that super fresh glacier water. Ooh, let's get that, let's get that review. Let's see what it tastes like. The colors here are insane. Fresh. Nice, no crunchies in there? No, no dirt, I think. <laughs> We have reached the summit of this trek. Our guide tells us we are 264 meters above sea level. So we here, we get to see Lake Argentino. We get to see the glacier in the back. Easily one of the coolest, most incredible things I've ever done in my life. 
All right, it's time to begin our descent. We've been told that we're going down to an ice bar and they're gonna serve us up some whiskey uh, or some chocolate. Both of those things sound very, very good to me and well-deserved uh, after a hike like this. So let's uh, go down and see what's really, really good. Okay, the danger level here is no joke. A woman just fell into one of the holes, one of the crevices. Her knee is stuck, her entire leg is stuck. They're trying to, uh, as you can see over here, they're trying to chip away at the ice to pry her out. We don't know if she's injured. Yikes. Yikes. Hope she's okay. All right, we've got our glass of whiskey. Real glacier ice in there. Cheers, y'all. What an incredible day. And that's that. It's time to get on the boat, get on the shuttle, and get back to the hostel. Brand new adventure starting tomorrow. We're heading to a place called Iguazu Falls where there's some like insane waterfalls to look at. My advice would be to book this tour as far in advance as you can. We got super, super lucky. We rolled into El Calafate, contacted a bunch of different tour agencies. They says, we're full, we're full, we're full or they just uh, were able to do the tour, but they didn't have a shuttle for us. And like to take a taxi out here would have been like $45 uh, one way. So very, very ugly. So highly recommend contacting tour agencies weeks in advance almost if you're thinking of coming out here. Thanks again for joining me on this insane glacier expedition. My name's Brent Tim, and I'm saying ciao for now. <laughs>